It is the last day of Hispanic Heritage Month. All month long, we've been learning about different traditions, and today we're exploring one of Mexico's most popular forms of entertainment, Lucha Libre, or Mexican wrestling. Yeah, it features masked fighters and high-flying moves, a slice of culture that is alive and well right here in the Valley. Teen 12's Adriana Loya shows us how. Loud chants, colorful masks, rapid holds, acrobat maneuvers, and high-flying moves make a perfect Lucha Libre match. It, it's an art and it's a very brutal theater. Lucha Libre means free fight, but it's better translated as freestyle wrestling. Oh man, there's action and people like action. The sport is more than professional wrestling. It's ingrained in every aspect of the Mexican culture. It's just something about it just hooks you. For the last eight years, Rompecabezas has been living and breathing Lucha Libre, half of that time professionally. He's a traditional luchador, wearing a mask to conceal his identity. I really like wrestling, uh, but knowing that my dad did it also, it just, you know, burned that, made that fire much, much bigger. And, uh, you know, back when I was younger, me and my grandma never missed, never missed a show on TV, never. Lucha Libre dates back to 1863. It was created by Enrique Ugartechea after deriving a freestyle format from Greco-Roman tradition. It wasn't until 1933 that luchadores or wrestlers were able to compete nationally in Mexico. That same year, luchador El Ciclón McKee came up with the mask idea. La Lucha Libre para un mexicano es... Te digo, lo lleva la sangre. To keep the tradition alive in the United States, specifically in Phoenix, Manuel Caballero launched a Lucha Libre school, where they focus on teaching the traditional style of the sport and respect for the ring. Esas bases son las que queremos nosotros que no se pierda y que se siga transmitiendo de una generación a otra. Not all luchadores wear a mask. Those are known as a heel or rudo. They are the villains. Ezequiel Alvarado, better known as Cochino Suave, is one of them. For him, no mask is part of the show. And it shows a lot more expression too, trying to reach out to the crowd and getting them behind you. Lucha Libre was popularized internationally after the movie Nacho Libre. One, two, three! But the sport is more than that. It's giving people something to forget about whatever they're going through in life. Cochino! Sole! Nearly 160 years later, Lucha Libre has and will remain an essential part of the Mexican heritage. This is our life. You know, this is what we live for. Adriana Loya, 12 News.